You may have been dealing with advanced or metastatic cancer for some time now. Some patients have a short time from diagnosis to end of life. Others may have years of time before the treatment stop working and preparation for end of life happens. Initially, the hope was for a miracle that you would be cured of your cancer. As time progresses and the cancer isn't able to be cured, the hope becomes controlling the cancer so that you can enjoy each day of your life with minimal symptoms and side effects. At some point, you will likely change treatments more frequently because the drugs don't work as long. At this point, it's important to step back, assess how you are feeling, and begin the process of planning for more disruptive changes to your body and your quality of life. It's time to get control over as much of yourself and your life as possible. This includes getting your legal and financial affairs in order, a difficult but necessary task. Pro bono lawyers are usually available for people with advanced cancers and can help you determine your will, guardianship for children, and power of attorney in the event you cannot make your own medical decisions. It's completely normal to experience fear as you approach the end of life. Palliative care is designed specifically to address the fear of pain and suffering with priority on preserving your quality of life for as long as possible. For less tangible fears, like missing out on your children's milestones as they grow, having cards written for each milestone has proven to be an effective way to instill values and express your love, hopes, and dreams after you're gone. You will still be here, instilling your values and expressing your love to your children, but in an alternative way. Hospice can be a scary word, but it is actually a way to preserve quality of life by stopping treatment and focusing on family time. Talk to your oncology care team early on to discuss where and when you want to receive this care. Everyone deserves a good death, and there are nine elements to consider for you and your family to feel a true sense of closure. Knowing your purpose for living and that it was valued by others. Leaving a legacy behind. Feeling confident that you will be talked about fondly after you are gone. Being pain-free. Dying with dignity in the environment of your choice. Leaving no cancer-related financial debt. Having your legal and financial affairs in order. Giving and receiving forgiveness feeling a spiritual connection to a higher power. It's up to you to choose how you want to approach and accomplish these nine items so that you are in charge and in control until the very end. End of life affairs require planning and cannot be accomplished at the very end. Please read and use the end of life planning guide to learn more.